was a request from my best friend. She decided she needed something sweet to brighten up her week, and I'm going to do that for her because she brightens my week all the time. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to make a canola dip. It's not a savory dip by any stretch of the imagination. It's pure dessert and it's pure heaven. And the best part is it takes maybe 12 minutes to make and it's super, super simple. I use my stand mixer, but you do not have to have a stand mixer to do it. You can do it with a regular handheld mixer. I wouldn't try to do it handheld with a a whisk, that would take forever. But if you have a handheld mixer or a stand mixer, that's awesome. Um, our ingredients are very simple. You need a 15 ounce container of ricotta cheese. I use a full milk ricotta cheese because it's thicker. And you want it to be a little bit thicker for the fact, because of the fact it is a dip, okay? If you use a lower fat content cottage cheese, you're going to have to strain it to get some of the moisture out of it. And that's not fun, so just go for the fast stuff. You're making cannoli dip, let's get serious. You're not gonna cut corners on fat in a cannoli dip. You're gonna need eight ounces of mascarpone cheese. Mascarpone cheese, I don't use very frequently. I mean, in fact, I only use it when I do cannolis. So it's, um, you can find it usually in the specialty cheese section at your grocers. You're gonna need a half cup of heavy cream. Um, you can use heavy whipping cream also. Um, this part is a little optional. If you want it to be really, really thick like cannoli filling, you don't need the heavy cream. We're adding the heavy cream in to make it a little fluffier so it's easy to dip stuff in. You need a half cup of uh, mini baking morsels. I don't care what kind you use. You could use dark chocolate, you could send with semi-sweet, you could use milk. Whatever floats your boat. I think I have some semi-sweet here. My special ingredient that I like to use is pure vanilla extract. Um, most people don't include this, uh, but I love the taste of vanilla, and normally I actually have fresh vanilla extract because my bestie gives me some because she makes it, but I'm out, so we're going with the bottled kind. We don't use a lot, but just enough to give that hint of flavor. And then you're also going to need two thirds of a cup of powdered sugar. Some people call it confectionery sugar. Um, whatever, it's the stuff you use to make frosting if you're not familiar with the words. But otherwise, that's it. It's a super, super, super recipe. The first thing you're gonna do is with a spatula, or as my friends used to call them, spatulas, you are going to empty your ricotta into a bowl. See how thick my ricotta is? I'm gonna shut the camera off for just a second so I can adjust it to make it a close-up so you can see how thick this is. Okay, you can see just how thick my ricotta is. It doesn't need to be drained or strained or anything. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna add your eight ounces of mascarpone into your ricotta. Look at this. When I opened it up, I thought there was an extra sheet of paper on top of it. That's actually the cheese. It's a very thick cheese, but remember, both of these are soft cheeses. Very, very soft cheeses. Whoops. Wanna get it all in there, you don't wanna waste it. Okay. And the whole idea with this is, let me throw these off to the side. Make sure you recycle. You want to mix these two cheeses together so they're nice and mixed. You want a nice creamy, creamy consistency with these cheeses because the creamier consistency you have, the better the dip is going to be. Okay, so just fold it into each other and then mix. You don't need to go crazy. <laughs> it's not a contest. You're not whipping this part into shape. So, it's nice and easy. And just keep pushing it down until you get that smooth consistency on the bottom. Okay? Now, you're going to take your two-thirds of a cup of powdered sugar and fold that in. And again, 
you're going to mix, whoops, mix it until it's nice and creamy. Okay, so this is the deal. You can stop here. <laughs> you really don't have to go any further. This is essentially what you're going to get inside the cannoli. This nice creamy texture that while now because it's out of the refrigerator, it's a little, little thinner. It will eventually thicken up once you get it into the refrigerator. But I like to take this a step further. Okay, I'm gonna put this off to the side for just a second and we're gonna go on to the cream. I'm gonna take your half cup of cream, you're gonna put it in your stand mixer or your handheld mixer, and you're going to whip this cream on high until you get frothy peaks. Okay, this is a long procedure. It will probably take about five to eight minutes. So I'll turn it on, but I'll turn you off so you don't have to listen to it. And as soon as it's done, I'll get right back. Hi, and I'm back with my super loud mixer. That's why I put you on hold. I actually let this run for about six minutes to get a nice frothy base. So, I wish I had one of those mixers so you could open up the top. But unfortunately, this is not one of them. <laughs> anyway, so you're gonna take your whipped cream. You know it's whipped when you turn it upside down if it stays in the container, okay? You're gonna take this whipped cream and you're going to add it to your bowl of mascarpone and ricotta, okay? Now remember, it's a whipped cream, but it's not sweet, so it's not gonna add too much sweetness to it. All right, I'm gonna push that off to the side. Take a piece that's on the counter. <laughs> okay, and at this point, this is where you're going to add about a half a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. If I were good, I would have the clear pure vanilla extract, but I'm not that noble. I think I used it on frosting. I needed white frosting for something. Anyway, you're going to fold all this in. Mix so that flavor is infused throughout your dip. And then we're going to add our mini morsels. Again, you're going to mix. Oh, smell the mini morsels. Yum, yum, yum. Okay? So now if you look at it, it's a little thin. I mean, it's not horribly thin, but it's a little thin. What's going to happen is, is when we put it into our bowl and put it in the refrigerator, it's going to set. And in about an hour or so, if you take it out, it's going to be a nice, firm consistency, yet not too hard to get your, your dip in. Okay? So all we have left is this little bit extra of the mini morsels. We're going to use those later to um, decorate the top. It'll be a nice garnish. So I am going to put this into my little container here. And then I will bring it back in about an hour and we'll finish up this demonstration. It looks wonderful and I'm so excited. See you soon. So we're back about an hour later and I let the, uh, the dip solidify or gel or whatever word you want to use together in the fridge. Here we go. So what you're going to do at this point now is you're going to take your extra little morsels, sprinkle them around the top so it looks pretty. And then I just like to take a little bit of powdered sugar and sprinkle it on top there so it looks great. We've got a nice variety of little snacks here uh, to serve your dip. We have some fresh strawberries, we have some graham crackers, and my personal favorite, crushed up ice cream cones. 
So, I hope you like what you see today. If you do, please subscribe to my channel, um, or at least give me a like. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them on the bottom. If you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell so you'll be notified of future installments. Um, let me taste this so we all know that it's good. Spectacular, as always. Anyway, thanks again. Hope you have a great day and bon appetit.